What's up, squad? And thank you guys so much for tuning in. So, guys, weekly readings. Let's jump into this. Let's see what's going on. All right. So, this is going to be for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Taurus signs. Keep in mind, like I always say, guys, the energy could be transferable. So, it could be something that I'm picking up on when it comes to you, or it could be about someone or something around you. Okay. All right. So, what is going on for squad? April 13th to the 19th, what can be expected? What is going on for the sign of Taurus? Okay, so we have the Five of Swords in the reverse, the Knight of Wands reversed. Let's get one more card to start off. And we have the strength card. All right, guys. So the energy that we have here is the Six of Cups. So with the Six of Cups, this could be someone kind of looking back at a past situation. Or it could also be something that has to do with children, okay? Now, it shows that there's something that you guys are leaving in the past. And it's like you're reserved towards this. It was something that was unstable. And it's like you're dodging a bullet by not being involved with this. But it shows that you're standing strong against energies that wouldn't have been too reliable, Okay, with the five of swords in the reverse, this is avoiding conflict at all costs, not wanting to fight, not wanting to argue, you know, not wanting to be in any heavy sort of shit. Okay. Why is this five of swords reversed? We have the six of wands, card about victory. Nine of cups, wow. And why is the strength card here? We have the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. So there's definitely an energy of someone or something that was very unreliable. And it's like you're standing very, very strongly against this. And you're not putting effort into this anymore. And there's definitely something that you guys are very, very victorious about here. So let's see why that victory card is coming up. But it does show that there was something that was unstable. It's something... That could have been very toxic maybe some sort of secret came out where you're realizing something's toxic and i see you guys just pulling back we have the three of pentacles wow okay five of wands and we have the death card in the reverse so you guys are happy with this new thing that you're building there's a sense of patience that you have with this it's so you guys are planting seeds you're waiting to see how things unfold how they develop and you're happy to be releasing something that was problematic and you're not putting effort into it but i feel like someone's still kind of holding on someone's not letting this chapter fully be closed out so it's like you're building something and you're going to be very successful with what it is that you're building okay but it's just like, I feel like there's something that's just causing tension. You're happy to be without it, but again, it's just causing some tension there. Let me see why this death card is in the reverse here. We have the seven of cups in the reverse. And the four of swords. So although someone knows something needs to be over, it's like their mind is still kind of stuck on it. They haven't really moved past this. Um, and honestly, I feel like there's a duality. I feel like there's definitely two parts to this where somebody's just like ready and they're independent and, you know, they're going into this new thing. They're very self-sufficient with it. And again, they're ready to release. They're balanced in releasing. But I feel as though there's another energy that it knows it needs to release, but it just hasn't. Okay. It's like someone feels betrayed, Taurus, by something that you are accepting, but it's something that brings you great, great success and victory if you guys are working on anything financial then this is you guys getting some good money from that okay let's use a different deck here which deck do i want um let's do tarot de la nui i have two new decks coming in today i'm so excited all right guys so what else is going on for squad what else is going on for the sign of taurus and it's our season next week, guys. I'm excited. Ooh. All right, so we have the Six of Cups in the reverse. So that card came out last time. In the last spread, rather. Let's get two more cards here. 
We have the Queen of Cups. And we have the Five of Cups. So for some of you, this could be something that has to do with the water sign specifically, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Or it could just be that there is something that you're leaving in the past, okay? And although you could be sad about it, there's a sense of balance you have at the same time, okay? Um, for some of you, there could be something from the past that returns and there could be sadness involved in this for whatever reason. I don't know why something coming from the past could make you sad, but it could be something like that. Um, or it could just be someone upset that they have to leave something in the past, okay? With the Nine of Wands in the reverse and the Justice card, there is something that was very burdening. And it's like you're, you're realizing that it could have just been a karmic situation. So, so you want to, it's like you don't want to be involved in the burden. You're dropping all the burden of this. With the Three of Swords, someone feels heartbroken, okay? Um, again, guys, I feel like there's a duality here because I feel like you're avoiding issues in a sense, with something that you're leaving in the past, or maybe something that's coming in from the past. But although there's someone who doesn't want any conflict here, I feel like someone is not allowing for something to be released, okay? They're not allowing for the situation to, you know, kind of just get past them. Um, yeah, with the Angel de la Nuit, with that card, guys, in the reverse, it's like, there's something that it's at its end it wants to come to its end you know and it shows that there's going to be something very positive that comes in for you a light that comes in for you but someone is like putting that off so it, it could be you it could be someone around you but someone is putting off closing something out it's like they don't want to we have the knight of swords in the reverse okay queen of swords in the reverse so what this is guys and we have the three of cups reversed is that there was something that was very reckless and it's like you guys don't it's like you don't even want to put this behind you in a crazy reckless way you kind of just want to release it it's like look i don't want to fight anymore like i just i want to be done i just want to breathe i don't you know i don't have it in me so whether it's you or somebody around you with this queen of swords reverse someone is just they put a very high wall up like look you may not be done but i'm done so good luck so that's really the energy that i'm feeling and Honestly, that can cause someone to really just be very upset. With these two cards together, this could be a mild depression, okay? We have the High Priestess, the Fool card in the reverse, and the World card. So it's a you know, Taurus, deep down in your heart and in your soul that there's something that is just, it has to be done. But you have something very positive that comes in. You're just really in your head, okay? We have the Four of Pentacles. So yeah, you're being reserved against something that's very reckless. You're allowing something very positive to come in with this world card. A new chapter definitely comes in for you guys. And with the nine of wands in the reverse, again, you're releasing something that was just too burdening. Um, we have this king of swords in the reverse energy and the nine of swords. So with these two, with the queen of swords in the reverse and the king of swords in the reverse, someone feels the need to be so protective over themselves okay so i feel as though something doesn't go as expected and you guys just feel like it's way too forced and you're just like nah i'm not i'm not doing this anymore so i feel like taurus is just completely done with something okay let me pull you guys some advice cards i like haven't had these decks out today yet all right Three cards of advice for squad. We have the two of cups, beautiful. three more cards we have the six of swords in the reverse page of swords in the reverse or princess of swords in this deck and we have the princess of wands in the reverse so page of wands in the reverse king of pentacles in the reverse temperance card in the reverse fool card in the reverse so taurus you just over something and again i always say that the energies could be transferable but in this case i really feel like it's the taurus that's just not interested this is something we're just like blah 
I'm not here for it anymore. So I feel like you guys are pretty much over whatever this is. So if somebody's upset about it, I don't feel like it's the Tory in here. Okay, I feel like you guys are just, you're done. Um, but you're removing yourself from something. Someone just has a very hard time moving away from it. Someone has a hard time distancing themselves from this. Seven of Swords. Six of Wands in the reverse. It's like you knew it wasn't going to be successful. You have the Nine of Cups. Interesting. Ace of Cups, Tower card, Three of Swords in the reverse. So Taurus, whether you guys are upset about something or not, that's drastically going to change for the better. Okay? So if you're happy, you're just going to become happier. If you're very upset over something, then that's going to change drastically because of a Tower moment coming in. So you know something wasn't going to be successful, but you have something here so strong and Taurus, you're keeping it to yourself. You're not telling the world about this. So you're really keeping this to yourself and this is going to be very fulfilling. This is going to change the game for you. This brings in a lot of happiness, uh, happiness a lot of fulfillment, a lot of satisfaction. Um, you're just there's just something here that kept you imbalanced you're no longer having faith in it and that's what was supposed to happen you were supposed to remove yourself all right with the hierophant and the hermit card you guys are removing yourselves not only to just you know better your life and the quality of it but you're on the path to something big and this is something that your soul was brought here to do and you're going to excel and it's going to happen fast for some of you it's going to involve you traveling but you guys are really going to take off with this and you're going to you know very really really succeed rather with this okay all right squad so if you guys need a personal reading everything is in the link or the description below rather to get that so once you guys purchase something on my website you will get a confirmation email that's letting you know that i have everything on my end guys i don't respond to anything or anyone until i have the actual video so once you guys do make a purchase once i do the actual recording that's when i send it to your email so just look out for that okay but other than that, follow me on Instagram, High Vibrations 44. You guys could also follow me on Twitter, Bruja Shit. Take care.